establish now and tell you guys that we are living in interesting times already. You know? That there is now a change in the kind of space age that we are going to face in. You know? uh, so basically, it's a new era of space age. The old era is basically what we know it to be. It's all about government support, sponsor. It was done primarily by the governments or the countries to establish their power, to establish prestige, to establish their rights. Like, the U.S. has their rights over the moon. No? R&D development was mainly only for science, but it can be of, without any direction. Okay? Uh, anyone who wanted to go to space needed to have rigorous training, whether to be called a cos uh, uh, cosmonaut or an astronaut. No, they had to go under rigorous training. You had to be military trained. And then, the only thing what the private sector would be doing there is that they would bid in and contribute their work into whatever they're trying to build in. No? Okay? Nowadays, their new era will be this. No? Private companies now are going to lead the way. We will expect a lot of private companies that are trying to lead the way. I will name a few in the next few slides. It is now driven by entrepreneurs and real rich business people already. Okay? R&D, most R&D now is now focused towards commercial gains, towards whatever project that they are doing already. Okay? So privates now, private citizens, can now pay their way to get to go to space or live in space. If you had the money, if you have the money, you can pay your way to go to space. What the price is, I will show tell you what the price will be. And the government now will just have to work in collaboration with them. You see the shift now? Instead of government leading the way, this time we're looking now at private individuals who will now take lead the way now. Private enterprises rather. No? Okay? So on the next slide. The question is that, how do we get up there? The fact is this, there is a market for people wanting to go to space. There is a market, there is a market. I guess you yourself, if you, knew, if you could afford it, you would say that, yes, I want to go to space. Every single one of you here would like to go to space. Now, the other facts I will tell you is that there are governments willing to supply that market at the right price. Okay? And there are entrepreneurs willing to supply that market at a fraction of that price. Okay? Those are the existing things. Let me take example. There are two examples I will tell you. I don't know. One of them, I think the most well-known thing among us Filipinos here I think it was also the TV commercial was the Axe Challenge. No? So, did anyone try to apply to join the Axe Challenge <laughs> among you guys? To, to become a, the opportunity to become a space, uh, to be an astronaut, to join them? Nonetheless, when we talk about the Axe Challenge, no? There is a fact that we can always, we can just establish the fact that there are people who are interested to go to outer space. There is an enterprise that was willing to spend for their marketing cost to send someone to space. That was one thing. So there is a market, that's one thing. The second one I want to also tell you uh, to, to, to think about is the, it's not seen there, uh, there is a website called Space Adventures, www.spaceadventures.com. No? Now, if you're a private individual and you want someone to work with work you and help you get their space flight, you just probably have to provide yourself with about $45 million to go there, no? to go to outer space. $45 million. They can make arrangements for you. There have been already about five individuals, five or six individuals, who have paid their way to go up there already. No? And I think the next one is in, I heard this Sarah Brightman, uh, a singer from the Phantom of the Opera. 
next year she's going to go out to outer space right now so you know no, she's the first artist uh, artist who will go to outer space no? okay next slide